In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an animated headline with Elementor. Really straightforward. I'm going to show you how to do it, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you're not yet subscribed, consider subscribing because I'm always sharing new tricks, new WordPress tips, tricks, and hacks, and stuff to make your life easier using WordPress. So click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like Elementor, you're going to like this. I'm currently building the ultimate Elementor course. It's going to be a bargain. There's a link down below to get on the waiting list. So click on that link, get on the waiting list, and you get more details while you're on there. And check out our Facebook group where we chat WordPress, help each other get better at WordPress. Link in the description down below, join that free Facebook group. With that out of the way, let's get into this Elementor tutorial. I'll see you in the screen capture. To add an animated headline, all you have to do is go to the animated headline module, which is right here. It is in the pro element section, meaning you only have it if you're a pro member or if you have the pro version of the plugin. It's pretty inexpensive. There's an affiliate link, like I said earlier, down below. If you want to click on that, it helps keep the lights on. Doesn't make it more expensive for you. You get this awesome plugin with all these cool features. To use the animated headline, just drag and drop. And now we have a demo of it. And the animation is basically this green circle that was put around the word amazing. Now you can change what that circle looks like or what that, what that actually is by picking the style. You can choose highlighted, which is this, or rotating, which changes words. So there we, we had better a moment ago. Now we have bigger. And now we're going to change it to faster. And those are the words that are written right in here. And they're added in there via typing, which is the animation method. You can have different methods here. Swirl, for example, it'll swirl in. That's the swirl effect. And all you have to do to change the text on the page is this is the before text, meaning before the animation. So whatever you type here is going to come before these words that are switching. So I'm going to say, today my hair is... Awesome, terrible, and gone. And there we have our animation updated. And then we can also have text after. If you don't enter anything here, it's just going to be blank. There won't be anything after. But you can add more text after it if you want to. So I could add in, so there, I guess, maybe. <laughs> anyway, that's what you do to get words after the animation. As you can see, if you have an animation where the words are not all the way across, there's a big space. So you may not want that. In which case, you may want to stick to the highlighting method, which always keeps everything in the same spot, the same amount of spacing, so you can add text before and after, not worry about spacing issues. And you can change the shape of this highlight. Circle is the default. You can do a curly underline, regular underline. I guess it's curved or something double underline or double top and bottom line, double underline, underline zigzag. That's a nice one. Diagonal, right through it, strike through, and an X through. And I'm going to say, just change the text before to today is a sunny day. And I'm going to change this to underline zigzag just to highlight that it's a sunny day. And that's how we do animated headlines. And of course, you have the regular alignment options like left, right, center. You can change it to different heading tags, span tags, divs. We have the styling options. We can change the color of the text. So if we change this to, oh, sorry, that's the color of the underline. My bad. The color of the underline, you can change here to whatever you think calls the most attention to it. You can change the width of the underline. That's the thickness of the actual pen that's writing. I guess you could say it's the pen. So I'm very skinny to obnoxiously thick. So you can pick the right size. That makes it perfect. You can bring it around the font. So as you can see, the, the Y, hang on a second, the Y is behind the underline. If you put no, the Y is above the underline, which actually makes it less realistic because if this was an actual page, you'd want it 
We want the, the Y behind the underline because it's like you're drawing the underline over the word. You can also round the edges. Not much of an effect difference for this type of animation, but probably for the other ones, you can see a bit of a difference. The headline, this is the actual text color. You can change that to whatever you need. The animated text color, you can change that separately to a different color. And the typography, you have all these settings that are available with any other element, any other headline element in Elementor. You can choose your font family, and you have all these settings. I'm not going to go through because they're kind of self-explanatory. And if you don't know what they are, just pop in here and play with them. Change the size. Oh, that's okay. That's what the size does. Change the weight. Doesn't do much in this case, but weighting is usually boldness. Uh, Trex transform, lowercase, capitalize. You, you kind of understand you, you, or you can see what it's doing as you do it. So just play around with those. You can't break anything. You always undo what you did or even press the undo button to go back to default. And then you don't have to worry about breaking anything. Same with the typography for the animated text. You can't break anything. So just play around and get it right to the point where you want it. And you have a great design that you want to have on your site. The advanced section allows you to add padding, margin, Z index is the height of the element. So if you have multiple elements that are stacked, the Z index says which element should be on top of that stack. It's not commonly used, but if you know what the Z index is, it's here. If you don't know what it is, you probably don't need it. So don't worry about it. Entrance animation, when the page loads or when you scroll down to this point on the page, this can be animated in a certain way. So it could zoom in from the left like that if you want. You can change the duration of the animation. You have a delay so it doesn't happen immediately. You can add a CSS ID, CSS class to, for more CSS styling. And then the background, which is the background for the entire element of the, the area that is surrounded by a light blue box. That's what the background is for. You can add borders. You can change responsiveness settings, as in show it or not show it on different types of devices. And add custom CSS. And the custom CSS, of course, is also a pro feature. But if you're using the animated headline, you have pro anyway. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, get on the Elementor waiting list, get on the Facebook page, and hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. Click the bell icon. And next up is clicking one of the videos on the right-hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.